I made this rocket stove about three years ago. I used it exclusively for heating in the winter time. This is in northern Minnesota, so it got used pretty hard. This is a J-tube style, as they would call it. I made it out of a 100-pound propane tank with some pipe fittings for a stand and some sheet metal for the firebox area that I lined with a half fire brick. I was very impressed with the way this heated. At times, the top would get red hot. I'm guessing that was about 1,200 degrees. I ruined an infrared thermometer just trying to check it. Later, I put a heat exchanger around the top to get, get the air to flow by faster, and that helped. I'll do a temporary setup to show how it works. I'll get this thing lit up. It's a castable refractory cement cover I made for it. This has been patched up a few times, as you can see. Fire brick get hot and break. little door I made there to start the fire, make it easier to start the fire and clean it out. This is a six inch rocket stove. All the pipes are six inch, risers six inch, and it's burning pretty clean. The wood does have to be pretty dry though. It's been about five minutes and it's starting to get warm. It's been about 10 minutes now, and I put some more wood in there to keep it going. And I'll check the temperature. And it's starting to get up there pretty good now.
getting too hot to hold my hand close to it, no. I'll let it burn down. I made this handy little device here to keep the wood pushed up in there. Keep the air flowing good around. Me. Helps quite a bit. It's made of stainless steel, but you can see it got pretty hot and warped out of shape. Sounds like a rocket. I let it go out and cool off now so I can take it apart. This is the riser that you see here. It's taken a lot of abuse from the heat. All this metal is deteriorated and flaked off. Inside here, this was made of ceramic fiber paper rolled up. There's about three or four layers. And then around that, there's an inch of ceramic fiber blanket. And then the duct, metal duct pipe around that. And it worked very well. It got very hot. I'm planning on replacing this whole riser with a one made out of ceramic fiber board. This is a heat exchanger shroud that was around the stove. It's made out of copper flashing. And over here, this is the top of the stove. It was attached with two latches. Well, I hope you found this video informative, and thanks for watching.